first live chat question is from Sabelo Toratu um, saying the 19th of November is International Men's Day. Would you consider making a video for just that day about men's issues? And also they say, I re recommend talking to Deja the Cupcake. She knows a lot about it, I'm assuming being men's issues. Um, I don't think I would make a whole video for it, but um, it is something that I'm interested in learning more about. I think um, I want to learn more about men's rights, but not from, um, but from a very like data-based and not in cell um, point of view. Like one men's issue that I think really needs more attention is um, suicide rates. If you look up the statistics, it's shocking. Um, stuff like that, I think is, I think that's a men's rights issue that I personally like care the most about, um, is the differential impact of suicide. Um, it, that's a complicated subject, um, but that's something I'm interested in. Out of curiosity, Armin, what do you think is um, one of the most pressing men's issues um, in your oh, opinion? Circumcision. Circumcision. Oh, true. Okay. Yeah. Those are the top yeah. two for me. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, torturing definitely. babies. Yeah. Torturing. Uh, torturing babies. male babies. Yeah. Again, on an individual basis, female genital mutilation is uh, a lot worse um, when it comes to, on average, when it comes to the damage that it does than male genital mutilation, which is circumcision. But as uh, when it comes to the total amount of harm, um, male genital mutilation or circumcision is far worse, right? Um, again, per individual, the female uh, babies suffer more, but the number of baby male babies that suffer from male genital mutilation is so much higher that that's like as a whole, I think that's a far bigger crime right now in the world. Um, and it's a crime again, that's so much more normalized. Normalized, yeah. And like, I mean, I think the world is doing a much better job in reacting and condemning female genital mutilation and not doing enough of a job in condemning and fighting against, you know, torturing little babies, right? Male mm -hmm. little babies, you know. So I think that needs to be. Um, and that's for, that's that's completely wrong, Carlo. It doesn't. Males. This is you. You're you have no idea what you're talking about. Male male circumcision doesn't do anything unless of, other than for a f uh, very few select you know uh, babies that need it. And so it's very very rare that they need it. It, ha it has no benefit. Any claim of its benefit has been fully debunked. You're completely behind the science of this if you are claiming that. Uh, is complete, you know, it's ridiculous that people still s spread nonsense like this. It has no benefit mm -hmm. uh, unless rare for rare cases. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it should be a crime. It should be a crime that, uh, that people to go to prison for uh, if they come, if they come, with, yeah. It's, it's baby torture. Agree. It's basically, yeah. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.